Hello everyone, this is Wade from High Tech Legion and we're going to be looking at the LIPA G1000 1000 watt power supply unit. It is an 80 plus gold rated unit with four 12 volt rails with a peak power of 1100 watts. This is the unit right here and in just a minute I will go over all the specifics with you. Let's take a look at the LIPA G1000. As you can see on the outside, we have a metal flecked matte black finish. Uh, it doesn't scratch. It's nice and resistant to fingerprints as well, and it'll look good in the case if you have a side window. They've got the G1000 on both sides of it, and a large fan here with a honeycomb mesh to allow good airflow, the fan is a 135 millimeter ball bearing fan and is controlled thermally by how hot the power supply gets, uh, meaning that it's going to run as quiet as it possibly can while it's under load. They do use 100% Japanese grade A uh, capacitors, so you don't have to worry about them exploding on you inside this like you white with some very low end power supply units. On the back of power supply we can look and see that the power plug and as well as the power on off switch and the LIPA brand name and logo again on the back. Through the mesh you can see that the uh, PCB and it does fill this unit completely so they've utilized the space effectively. On the bottom we have our load chart showing all four 12 volt rails as well as our 5 and 3.3 volt rail totaling a thousand watts power as well as the part number and serial number on the bottom stamped with the 80 plus gold rating showing that it definitely passed all the specifications and tests required to meet that standard. Here we can see that it is a semi-modular power supply. The modular plugs here are for the GPU, CPU, and memory. And these ones are for your accessories and storage drives, peripherals. The Connectors that are not modular are the 24 pin connector. We have two PCI Express 6 plus 2 that are built in. Most people are going to use that. And then we also have a 8 pin EPS and a 4 plus 4 pin that can be used as an 8 pin or in 4 pin uh, situations. They have balanced the uh, load on the four rails very well, so you don't really have to worry about load balancing too much like you might with some other that require, that have multiple rails. A lot of people look for that single rail, but this should do just as well, and the price point is great for the gamer and enthusiast. We've also got accessories, of course. Our modular cables, which I'll show you here. We've got one set here that has four SATA power connectors, another set with two four pin Molex and two SATA connectors, four SATA connectors, two four pin Molex and two SATA connectors, four four pin Molex connectors, and two additional sets of 6 plus 2 pin um, GPU connect, PCI Express connectors. We have a very heavy duty uh, power plug here so you'll definitely get good uh, connection with your power 
and don't have to worry about drawing too much of the cord and it heating up. Four screws for mounting into your chassis, as well as a user manual for the power supply. Now, we're all looking at efficiency and quality with these builds, and LEPA certainly has come across for that with this design, and you can't go wrong with the choice, so we have going to award this the High Tech Legion Gold Award. Here we have the graphs from OCCT for the 3.3 volt, 5 volt, and 12 volt tests that are done on the system with that. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video overview of the LIPA G1000 80 plus gold rated power supply. Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter, and check out our main page for the full review and statistics on this power supply, as well as others. Take care.